Hey, good morning. <laughs> Guess what? We're back on the road. Uh, on the road headed to Fredericksburg, and uh, then, of course, our long trip is in the next two weeks after that. But uh, I'm just happy to be back out on the road. <sighs> it has been a little more than a month, and we've been back at home base. And I got to tell you, it's... Uh, I'm trying to get Megan's camera down here and get her ready to set up to go, but it has been just like when when are we leaving? When are we leaving? Um, so it's it's I'm really glad to be back out on the road, even if it's a four day trip to Fredericksburg. But um, it is what it is. Uh, it's about 5:30 here in uh, in Dallas, and we've still got to hook up the Jeep. Uh, to the RV, which I usually do at uh, our local Tom Thumb uh, supermarket because it's easier to hook it up there than it is here at home base. And then we're on our way. A few problems, a few fixes, um, but uh, we've got, a, I think, a uh, inverter problem. Uh, I've racked my brain, checked forums, checked boards, called friends of mine, and that's pretty much what we've come up with. Um, kind of explain my problem really quick and not to go into great detail because we got a lot of stuff to put, we want to cover but uh, we're not getting a charge out of our generator and we're not getting a charge out of our um, out of our shore power hooked up here at the house uh, it is holding a charge uh, it's just I can't run a lot of things like our microwave and stuff off of it uh, I tried to use another plug but all of our plugs are hooked up to that now we'll go into more detail later on if you guys uh, got a comment as to what you think it might be or if you've come across this before uh leave me something and that way i've got something to tell my mechanic when we get back from fredericksburg anyway we're about to go hook up the jeep get on the road and join us we on have to get the sleepy heads to wake up the two sleepy heads we're the early risers they're the sleepy heads so caitlin and mike well uh, did you get them up? Yeah, I got them up. They're actually up. All right. All right. Uh, maybe Megan will film a little bit uh, once we start hooking the Jeep up, and you can see how we get that done. We've never done that before. So, back out on the road after uh, over a month, yeah. and I'm ready. So, stay with us. Join us on this adventure. Here we go. So, guys, we are hooked up, and we are ready to rock and roll. We are on our way to Fredericksburg for four days, and... Uh, Gonna bring you along on this adventure. And um, we get to Jellystone Park. Uh, we'll get to a little bit more of how we disconnect and set up. Um, but until that time, join us on the road. How about you? You ready? Little birthday girl. Last time we were on the road, you weren't one. This time you're one. You're one years old. And we got the dogs and they are ready to go. Megan somewhere in the back. Mike's sleeping. It looks like we're leaving Tom Thumb. That's where we usually hook up the Jeep. It's a lot easier to hook it up here than it is uh, hooking it up at home base. Hopefully we get back uh, and uh, we can change that. Maybe we can kind of do home base a little bit easier. I don't know. I don't even know what that looks like. But we are on our way to Fredericksburg this time for the second time. We had a meeting set up with Fat Ass Ranch and Winery, but that kind of got canceled due to COVID. Corona Bona. Yeah, Corona Bona. Kaylin, are you ready? Are you eating a Cheeto? No, she's eating a honey bun. Or a honey bun? I don't want any. We got a we got a, a new one uh, joining us on our trips. He's asleep. Mike's. Mike's finally joining us in the RV for the first time driving. Oh, yes. Pretty exciting. I'm turning. Oh. oh God. Open everything. We got Bella. Miko is down here trying to see if Caitlin will drop anything. She's like our little vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I definitely don't need to bring dog food when we go on these trips. I just uh, set Miko up and underneath Caitlin, and she's bound to drop something. They get fed that way. <laughs> He's kidding. We bring dog food. <laughs> don't come after us. 
Hey guys, do me a favor. If you're uh, new to the channel, you're just now watching, hit that subscribe button. I point to it, but every time I point to it, it moves and it's on a different side. I'm going to quit pointing. Just hit the subscribe button. Uh, ring the bell. That way you know uh, when we have another video coming up. Give me a thumbs up and please leave me a comment. It's not the comment I'm looking for. Um, leave me a comment. Let us know what you think about these videos. Um, if there's something that you want to see or something that you're seeing way too much of, or you know what? If you don't want to see me anymore and you want to see more of Caitlin or more of Megan, let us know. Uh, but definitely hit the subscribe button. Thanks, and I appreciate it. We could sing the Laura Lee subscribe song. I don't know that song. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. Subscribe! <laughs> Alrighty, there you go. And if you didn't subscribe after that, uh, I guess you never will. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. Or we appreciate it. Alright. Well, so, wait a minute, let's, let's, let's give a lead in here because if you're not from Texas, you don't know what Bucky's is. But you may have heard of Bucky's. And Bucky's is like. You have to stop. You have to stop. It's like tradition. Yeah. Two things. One, the cleanest bathrooms you'll ever have, ever. And secondly, is beaver, beaver, beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. Yeah. Oh, the Bucky sign. The Bucky. So Bucky's always has these signs as it's getting closer and closer and closer, and they're they're funny. Um, and this one said you can hold it and underneath 68 miles. You yeah, know. Yeah. Sorry. Absolutely no, not. Not holding it for 68 yeah, miles. Yeah, no. I don't know anybody that can hold it for 68 miles. Hey, guys, I want to tell you this and uh, give a cheap, shameless plug to uh, to E-Trailer and the Roadmaster uh, steering stabilizer. So, on our 1999 Trade Winds Model 7370, uh, they do not or did not come stock with a steering stabilizer. I put one on, and it has made a world of difference. And I'll uh, I'll give you more information down below in the description. Normally, he's driving like show him how you normally drive, like this, and now he's just relaxing. I mean, we don't even fill the like the 18 wheelers. Normally, he'll fill the 18 wheelers like when they're coming up. He'll normally fill them. He don't even fill them until he sees them, like. Truck, truck ruts, crosswinds, um, don't have a lot of wind, so I don't know what that's going to be like, but uh, the ruts, I, I still feel them a little bit, but it's not it's not taking the rig and, and uh, just jerking it to one side or the other, and I've got to try to find that happy, happy lane. Um, it's actually, still, you're still driving a boat, you're still driving a big box. Um, but it's a, it's a lot more comfortable to drive, plus fatigue. Um, but we'll do a, uh, we'll actually do a, a vlog on that, on just the, the Roadmaster and uh, how it, all of that. How it works, how, how it works, you know, just the difference, the pros and cons and stuff like that about it. But, you know, it's doing pretty good. He's relaxing over here. I've never seen him relax <laughs> whenever he's driving. We got a... Mike and Caitlin passed out back there. So. Oh, and then we're passing on the Hillsboro Outlets. If you've never been to Hillsboro Outlets, they're amazing. The best outlets that I've ever been to. Amazing, amazing. We used to go here because when we, we went to college at uh, UMHB, so we always pass there. You might want to get over. Trying to. I think he saw what was coming and he got over too. Thank you, sir. Anyways. But uh, yeah, best outlets. We got some uh, tires in the road. Yeah, I'd rather not blow one of my tires because somebody else blew, blew theirs. <laughs> I will tell you this, this road is the most awful, this highway heading towards this way, awful, yeah, awful, Dallas awful. Dallas to Austin is, uh, is not fun. And if you're, uh, if you're traveling, do not come down this way on a Friday after five. And do not come back on a Sunday at any time because I've seen it coming back from Austin to Dallas to where it is a literal parking lot. But yeah, 
Oh, and there's Anaso, this awesome place that we usually go to on the way there. It's the, how do you say, the Czech stop? Czech stop. Czech stop. And they have the best kolaches that you will ever have. They're amazing. They also have this one place, and I don't remember what it's called, but it looks like a like a big white like okay. castle. On the Roadmaster, real quick. Uh, you got two 18 wheelers passing you. One on, or one on what the right side, one on the left side. Yeah, you you definitely feel that a little bit. <laughs> but you know what? You'd feel that in a car. Oh yeah. That's. Uh, I don't like 18 wheelers. I I I like to stay clear of them. Maybe uh, maybe we'll let Megan drive uh, sometime. Oh yeah, I want to try. That'd be fun. I'd probably be scared, like lame. <laughs> Anyways, but back to that place I was telling you about. It's like a white castle kind of looking thing, but they have these cookies and they're cherry cookies. And they're the most amazing thing. And I'm trying to get dad to stop, but I don't think he will. So dad, are you gonna stop for me? Dad doesn't like to stop. But, but I have an RV, I have a bathroom in the back. I have a full kitchen and there's no reason to stop. I mean, my own cherry cookies. But they're cherry cookies. Yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. You know what? <laughs> You'll, you'll see if we stop or not because you'll have footage of that. Okay, I just figured out the name of it. It's called Collins Street Bakery. That's what it's called. Best cherry cookies ever. We're coming up on Baylor. Good old Baylor. Just a minute, I'll show you the stadium. Oh, there it is. The McLean Stadium right in front of us. Can't really see it. We're probably gonna have to get a little closer for y'all to see it. But look at all this awesome construction. Hate construction. I hate. Two things I hate. Construction and traffic. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There's the Baylor University McLean Stadium. I don't like the Baylor Bears much either. I like Baylor Bears. So? You still like Baylor? Child. Oh look, there's the Texas Rangers uh, Hall of Fame Museum. Oh, there's Baylor University right there. Pretty campus. Very pretty. A cool fact I will let y'all know about is so there's two Baylors. And Mary Harden Baylor was actually the first Baylor. And um, it was the girls' school, and then Baylor was the boys' school, which was right across the river, and they moved it. So, fun fact, Mr. Baylor is actually buried on Mary Harden Baylor's property instead of at the actual Baylor. So that's a pretty cool fact. Mm -hmm.